In this video, you will learn how to make a custom sticky header, but this one is different. When you scroll to a certain point, the toolbar items slide in, so it is easy to take action. And the best part building this is way simpler than you think. I'm not gonna use Geometry Reader or any complicated functions. All you need are just two tools, on-scroll geometry change and on-scroll visibility change. And one more thing, at the end, we'll make the code simple to use again, so you can choose if the header has an image or not. Now, we can track where the user is inside the scroll view. We can see if they're moving up or down, and we can also grab the size of the screen. First step is to make the scroll view move in only one direction. But if the user scrolls down, it stops. And here's the crazy part. We add the scroll amount to the image height. That makes the image grow and pushes everything below it down. And for the zoom effect, we just add a scale effect based on how far the user pulls. But that's not enough. We can make it better. If you look at the App Store, you'll see the image moves slower than the content. And it looks like it is sitting behind everything. To get the same effect, just add the same offset to the image, but slow it down. And here comes the fun part. We add the header, but the background uses thin material, which gives a nice blur. At the start, it's invisible, but as you scroll, the opacity increases until it's fully visible. Then we drop in the toolbar items, sliding them up from the bottom. And the last piece, how can we make the toolbar items appear at one exact position? I will add an invisible rectangle under the image. The on-scroll visibility change tells us if that rectangle is on the screen or not. When it goes off the screen, we show the toolbar items. Quick tip, you might wanna move the rectangle up or down with an offset. Just be sure the offset comes after on-scroll visibility change. To clean up the code and make it customizable, we pass in the toolbar items and the content. If the header has an image, it will stretch and move as you scroll. If there's no image, it behaves like a normal scroll view. In that case, we add a bit of padding at the top so the layout still looks right. This way, the header works perfectly with or without an image. 